so I wanted to show you the face of someone probably has high functioning autism or whatever you want to call it so I can actually switch things pretty quickly and um, when I'm home alone like after work and stuff I'm exhausted so um, this is more of like who I am and uh, I just really want to um, oh I'm just tired I just really want to um to get in some contact with some people um i i just really uh feel like i've made some correlations after i've um uh dated um or went on um, some dates with uh, a girl with um i'm supposed to look, uh, high functioning autism or whatever we want to call it um the whole autism spectrum thing whatever um anyways um i um wrote you guys an email and uh, I also wanted to send you a video because I talk about, uh, I'm sorry, I have a hard time communicating sometimes when I get uh, excited or nervous, um, uh, but I talked about um, um, just yeah I talked about patterns and stuff and um, um, sometimes I forget what I was thinking about um, when I have a lot of thoughts at once um, I just feel like I have um, so much to say but I will uh, try to cut this short I really felt uh, misunderstood for so much of my life, but I've always felt like I was able to, uh, to understand others, and um, I've definitely found many individuals that um, I feel like I connect with, and uh, I've noticed um, a lot of similarities. Uh, what I feel like is the pattern is um, the interior um, kind of like foundations, like the emotions and stuff, they're uh, extremely similar on the inside, uh, but depending on the individual, the uh, negative symptoms uh, manifest on the exterior. So uh, it could be confused as um, uh, an eating disorder, like uh, eating when stressed or um, it can be uh, uh, considered OCD or ADHD or whatever symptom um, and uh, I remember looking at research about things like um, um, how um, it's very difficult for women to get um, diagnosed with it because um, from my understanding it's that uh, the social norms, I'm sorry, this cat, um, the social norms um, of society on women and things like that um, make it so they're pretty invisible. So um, when I see my sister, uh, she's been misdiagnosed, but uh, just growing up, extreme um, anxiety, uh, super shy. Um, she's one of the fastest readers I've ever met in my life. It's incredible. Um, a lot of times um, she'll say one thing um, but um, her face and everything doesn't match it and um, I'm sorry I keep um, getting distracted but um, I um, really do believe that um, I am onto something and uh, I wanted to uh, send you this video to um, to express myself and uh, hopefully try to uh, make a convincing argument. Um, so I really do feel like um, um, eventually I will be able to explain in a, a better way. And I feel like I'm just really well, um, I don't know, I'm really well adjusted, <laughs> that's what you want to call it. Um, 
and I feel like a lot of it is um, um, without me knowing it or I don't know it's it's hard to explain but I promise you like I'm not making this up and I would really like a chance I know this doesn't seem professional but I think this is so much better like I'm being honest I don't understand why people aren't honest it's really silly and uh even now I'm still putting on a filter I want to curse and uh, <laughs> I've had problems with it as a kid and I've had problems with like yelling my volume um however it's like when I'm in a good mood like this like I get expressive like this however um they'll call it bipolar or something um anyways I just feel like there's misdiagnoses and uh I've seen so many patterns and I would love to uh just really try to contribute and it'd really be nice to like get some recognition and just kind of like make my parents proud really it's not about like my ego and if someone takes the credit away you know as long as like accurate information gets out there instead of all this pseudo psychology you know it'd be okay um, I found a lot of correlations because um, I do have an interest in um, uh, self-growth so I've been studying philosophy in different uh, individuals and um, it's just high functioning autistic and blah 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 it's just a scale it's the easiest way to find what supposed autistic was was really severe symptoms and um, where some people they're like you know, I have some OCD or I have some ADHD and it's like maybe they're not actually wrong it depends on like what their life conditions are so I noticed that um, um, I'm usually I'm unusually sensitive when um, I have a lot of intense things going on um, and then um, for other uh, women I've met, it could come out as a migraine, uh, uh, problems with menstruation, uh, skin, eczema, um, acne, uh, weight gain, and for me, um, absolute temper and anger. Um, as a kid, I used to break stuff, shout, um, and uh, it takes me a lot of willpower. And me and my sister both relate to, you know, after we go home, like, after we finish work and go home we're just so exhausted from just wearing our mask all the time and uh you know the thing is um uh, i believe that there's nothing wrong with us because i find a lot of people like us and i'm really happy when i do um so sometimes like or with these individuals so many times uh the thing that was happening i believe is that uh they're high functioning autistic but they are so they're smart enough I don't know how to explain it they're smart enough to learn from TV and things like that so I honestly wanted to make this like one minute and it is uh, 8 minutes 30 something seconds but this is Tom Park and I really really wish that uh, I can help contribute and make the world a better place and uh, it sounds crazy, but I think everyone else is crazy. Like, seriously, like, someone's got to do it. And, like, I do think that I'm going to die one day. Like, not, like, right now through suicide, but it's like I think about it almost, like, every other day. Like, I'm going to die one day, and my mom and my dad and my sister's going to die one day. But, you know, what's going to happen is, like, I'm going to make life really great and it's gonna happen no matter what and um, I will just make it really stylish in a way if you gotta go anyways um, that's my rambling and um, I just wanted to express myself and show you how supposedly crazy I am um, when I try to be myself I just I just I just blabber on like this and uh thank you uh so hopefully we yeah